many? Ten. Ten? Oh, I was close. <laughs> Flies. Are there flies? Yeah. Hundreds and millions of flies. <laughs> what sound does it call me? Ribbon. You've been quizzled. Yay! Remember to bring your phone. Good morning. We have a quizzle question of the day for you. We know a time we took a took a leap of faith and trusted in God when you were faced with a challenge. When I had issues with my health, I put in God's hands. Good morning. Good morning. We have a quizzle question of the day for you. How many plagues did God send over to Egypt? Do you know? Seven. Ten. Ten. Oh, close. no. See, I told you I wouldn't know. Can you name any of the plagues? Locusts. Yes, that's one. Uh... That's probably it. Okay, there are ha there's hail, there's boils, there's frogs, there's gnats. And speaking of frogs, what sound does a frog make? Ribbit. Good. Ribbit. Can you tell me about a time when you took a leap of faith and trusted in God when you were faced with a challenge? Hmm. I guess when I got married, I took a leap of faith. And trusted in God that I was doing the right thing. Good answer. You've just been quizzled. Remember to bring your frogs next Sunday for okay, frogs. Okay, I will do that. Stay for you. How many plagues did God send over to Egypt? How many plagues? Yeah. I think it was ten. You are correct. Can you name any of the plagues of Egypt? Any of the plagues? Um, <sighs> frogs? We have a quizzle question of the day for you. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. How many plagues did God send over to Egypt? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Can you name any of them? Oh, let's see. Now you're testing my memory. I know. Frogs. Oh! Right. And also gnats, flies, river turning to blood, darkening of the moon. Um, let's see, locusts and boils on the skin, and um, the firstborn, sadly, the firstborn dying. That's just some of them. Speaking of frogs, what sound does a frog make? Can you tell me? Good job. Should I keep going? Oh, you're fine. You can stop now. Okay. Can you tell me about a time when you took a leap of faith and trusted in God when you were faced with a challenge? Well, actually, it happened um, when I was in seminary, and the pastor who, uh, who was my supervisor at the time challenged me to tithe, which is to give 10% of my, uh, my income to the church. And I was a poor seminary student, I had very little income, but I thought, you know what, I can't ask people to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. So I started tithing, and lo and behold, I started to get a few extra harp jobs and was able to afford to tithe. So that was my leap of faith, and I still try to tithe today. Awesome. You've been quizzled. Remember doing your frog, frogs next Sunday.